Raise your hands, folks. Raise your hands if you awoke September 11th, 2001, and after the previous day's death and mayhem, you said to yourself, whoever did this, let's find him. Let's find him no matter what it takes, no matter what it takes. A lot of people said that, including many who probably surprised themselves by doing so, because the fact is a lot of Americans got behind something that some now seem to regret. Think about that. Montel Williams is here with me now. You know him as an actor, TV host, also a former Marine, grad of the U.S. Naval Academy, 22 years in the service. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, and in fact, he minored in international security studies. So great to have you here. Great to be here. No, you know, thank you. You know what? In reading all of this, and we're talking first, I'm keeping you over to, over a break. I've got a sure. lot to ask you sure, about. Sure, sure. Um, you know, we're a lot of outrage and frustration over this torture report that came out. But again, I always try to remember in those hours and days after 9-11, the fear, yes. the climate of the yes. time. We did what we had to do, but now we should do what we as a nation should do and admit our fault, admit when we made a mistake. This is not who we are. There are people who put on uniforms, put their lives on the line all over the world. They're ready to die for us. They're ready to die for what is the image of America. The Constitution. We support the laws that we put in place. We support the treaties that we signed on to. We've signed on to treaties that prohibit us from doing what we did. We did what we had to do to make sure we stopped a terrorist activity from continuing. But now that we did it, we should tell the world the truth. We made a mistake. Stand up. Show us the world that we are better than those that we challenge. What falls under the category of a mistake? Does the torture fall under the category of a mistake? When it you happened, all these details. If we look back, look, we can all be, you know, armchair quarterbacks. I hate the fact that all every issue in America today is all about how we can divide us into two camps and fight. Stop the fighting. Remember, the rest of the world right now is watching us put troops on the ground to make them want to be like us. Well, what we can be like is to tell them when we make a mistake, we'll admit it. But we're going to tell you, we did what we had to do at the time. Yeah, we tortured some people. We did it. I'm sorry. Maybe some of the people in our government didn't do it the way we normally do But according do to this report, it didn't get us any significant intelligence. Okay. We there made a mistake. There were 20 points in this report. We still made a mistake. Look, I'm, I, I will tell you something. I can look back now in our past and look at all the mistakes that America has made in different things, and we can all sit here and write books and reports about it and mm -hmm, complain, mm -hmm. or we can just get on and say we're never going to do it again. So I think that's the most important thing. Look at John McCain. John McCain is I'm one so of our POWs. Yes. He was he in, knows torture. He understands it. He understands that if we don't step up and tell the world we don't like what we did and we don't like what you do, the next time a female soldier or a soldier of ours gets captured, I pity what we see on the news. It's interesting. He stood there on the floor yesterday um, amidst all of his colleagues and uh, amidst the dissenting opinion from the Republicans. And he stood there as a POW, as a former POW, and said this being the torture put a stain on our, our national honor. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering from you if, given everything we've now learned about this, is America better off or worse off from it? We will be better in how we behave with this information. We show the rest of the world that we will take the leadership position and admit our fault, say we made a mistake. How many nations would do that? None. And say to them, we promise you, the reason why the American populace is all weighing in on this is because this is how democracy works. Why should they believe us since so many people apparently were kept in the dark? They should believe us now because, again, it's a mea culpa, and I'm sorry, that's how we do it. You make a mistake, you step up and say, I did it, sorry. And I'm not trying to make light. We made a mistake. America should admit this. The both sides of the camp that are claiming right now that it wasn't torture, it was torture, stop arguing the particular. The rest of the world is looking at us. And right this minute, if I'm not mistaken, two weeks ago, did not the president put another 1,500 troops on the ground in someone else's company, country trying to convince them to buy into this democracy? You only buy into something that you believe the other people believe in. When this country steps up to the plate and says, we hold our leaders accountable, we hold all those people accountable who made a mistake, Let's never make it again. I think that makes us a better people. Hmm. That's the country I put a uniform on and was willing to die for. I'm grateful you did.